Generative art is a certain type of interactive or random piece of work that uses algorithms and scientific theories to create both predictable and unpredictable artistic outcomes, whether visual, oral, or tactile. But for this episode of Rockaboom Tech, we'll be focusing on the musical aspect of generative art. And the first example of generative music was Mozart's musical dice game in 1757, which used mathematical patterns, and we've come a long way in terms of complexity since then. For example, contemporary artist Golan Levin's compositions use a stylus and computer program that reads what you physically draw, then translates it into music. And along those same lines, with the advent of computers and powerful processors, musicians have been able to create real-time interactive music. So I sat down with one of these artists, Luc Dubois, and discussed some of his generative art, a mix of visual and oral media. I'm here with Luc Dubois, who is a self-proclaimed geek at large. Say something. I'm in Manhattan today, and it's beautiful. This is what your voice looks like. It looks very spiky. Today, and, it's beautiful. and this is called a sonogram, and this is a pretty standard way of looking at sound. There's a dirty little trick about this program. Ooh. Okay, you ready? All right, check this out. I'm in Manhattan today. The sound, beautiful. the sound you're hearing, um, is being scanned off the image. I didn't actually record your voice, I just plotted it. Really? So you can do all these things you're not supposed to be able to do with I'm sound. In Manhattan today, and it's beautiful. For example, there's no reason the red line has to move. And that is... I can move it really slowly. So that's an interpretation of the image of my voice. Uh -huh. And so you can st so you stop, can... theoretically, on one photograph. Mm -hmm. so, so it's really great you said photography, because when I started doing this was these... A friend of mine asked me to do a remix, this is really funny, of Handel's Messiah. And I was like, oh no, what part am I going to use? And so you know how like on the thing, the red line doesn't have to move at any yeah. particular speed? So I took the whole thing and sped it up to five minutes. And I call it time-lapse phonography. And so the idea is like, what if you could take a long exposure photograph of a sound, what would mm -hmm. happen? Like, it's just like a long exposure photograph of a, of a picture, right? Like if I take a long exposure photograph, develop it, it blurs. You can't right. tell where I started, right? Yeah. So what happens is you lose, ta you lose melody and rhythm but you keep harmony and you keep orchestration. What kind of software programming languages were you using for this? Did you have to create your own? Yeah, I did it all in Max, actually. I wrote my own thing in Max. And what is yeah. Max? It's a visual programming language for um, doing anything with real-time media. Max is used a lot in interactive performance, so laptop musicians will use it, DJs will use it. It's like if you've ever seen um, a big crazy stadium rock show that has a lot of lighting and video and stuff, a lot of times they use Max to control it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it up to the really junky synthesizer on my computer, and then we will hear random atonal crap. There we go. So we made a max patch. And then what is Jitter that you programmed on top of that? Jitter is something I wrote with a bunch of colleagues of mine and it expands Max to let you do really interesting things in real time with image and graphics. Any kind of like club VJ performance, there's an excellent chance that they're either using Jitter or they're using something that was made in Jitter. Thanks, Luke. And if you would like to check out more, you can go to LukeDubois.com. If you'd like to try making some generative art on your own, you can try using Max or Jitter. If you're a beginner, I'd recommend checking out Electroplankton for Nintendo DS or CreateDigitalMusic.com. I'm Ellie Rountree and this has been Rockaboom Tech.